This video is sponsored by Artlist. Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a super advanced pop-up text animation in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. So, let's get started. Alright, now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see on the timeline, I have got a text. You can type any text that you want. You can customize the text from the Essential Graphics panel. You can change the font style and font size. Also, you can change the color of your text. First of all, we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Let's right click on the project panel and then select the adjustment layer. We have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Next, click on OK. Now we can drag this adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place it on top of the text layer. Now I am going to make this adjustment layer around 30 frames. Let's right click on the adjustment layer and then click on speed and duration. Now we have to make the duration value around 30 frames. As you can see, the adjustment layer is ready. Next, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect onto the adjustment layer and then move over to the effect controls panel to customize the transform effect. First of all, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then we have to create some keyframes for scale parameters by clicking on this stopwatch icon. We have to change the scale value for each keyframe. You can follow the screen for perfect scale value. So let's click on the stopwatch icon of the scale property and make the scale parameter value around 70. Next, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 80. Again, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 90. After that, let's move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 100. In the next step, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 127.9. Again, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 135.8. And then move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 128.3. After that, let's move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 113.9. And then move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 100. Again, Move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 91.3. Next, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 88.9. After that, let's move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 91.2. And then move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 95.7. In the next step, let's move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 100. Again, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 102.7. After that, let's move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 103.5. In the next step, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 102.7. Again, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 101.3. And then move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 100. After that, let's move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 99.2. And then move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 98.9. Next, move the time indicator one frame forward. And now we have to make the scale parameter value around 99.1. Next, move the time indicator one frame forward and make the scale parameter value around 99.6. After that, let's move the time indicator one frame forward. And lastly, Let's make the scale parameter value around 100. All right, now we are done. With these couple of steps, we have created this pop-up text animation. Let's see how it looks now.
It looks great. In the last and final step, let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then, click on the stopwatch icon for the opacity property. And, we have to make the opacity parameter value around 0. And then, move the time indicator 3 frames forward. Now, we have to make the opacity parameter value around 100. Alright, now we are done. Let's see how it looks now. It looks great. In this way, you can create a super advanced pop-up text animation inside Premiere Pro.